Hey guys, Rexart here with another Awakened Chaos Error video. Today we're going to try and teach you the beginner's way and how to do it most efficiently. So my account is officially 11 days old. Now I'm going to show you the resources and stuff that I have. I have 462 meal coupons. I have three summons. I do have summoned as I've been getting them. Unfortunately, I didn't record them because that's just what I do sometimes, unfortunately. Um, gear wise and champion wise, we do have an A2 Ashlyn, A2 Hitroshi, A1 um, Nathalia, A1 Garrel as well. We do have Opal. Um, this is one of my new champions that I pulled the other day. Vienna. Um, I am working on building up Jacob and Scarlet at the moment. We do have Pindrick. We do also have Molhex and Brand here. Along with... What's her face? Liverly. Liverly? I don't know. I'm probably saying it wrong. But she's also another legendary that we got. I'm just going to try and show you how I do this. Um, so first things first is my main goal was to complete Mythic. Mythic Chapter 10-8. Now this automatically gave me a legendary book and then doing the adventure obviously gave me a legendary book as well like the, uh, the challenge here. So very important to do this. Just make sure you do the adventures and the experts. Like just work on your challenges here. Now I haven't really done Arcane Dominator. Haven't really done the arena. Done a little bit of hero development, but that's purely just from gearing my champions up. Um, and the Void Tower is only done because of the rookie summons. Um, like what we need to do for 60. I want to currently on 50, but a lot of my time is been honestly farming like a farm stage 10 or a 9 on Bane Wrath, 9 on uh, on the Wrath of Floods because I've been trying to get everyone's skills and glyphs up currently. So basically what you want to do when you first start off is just go through the story, work on common, work on hard, work on mythic. Now a lot of the times you may get stuck. Now I'm not going to sugarcoat it. It was quite difficult for me to start progressing through to 10-8. Now a lot of the things is is your friend support champions. Um, for example, if you are struggling on a chain uh, on a stage, you do have access to these support heroes, your friends. Now. You may not know a lot of people, but nonetheless, I'm going to leave the official Discord link for the Ace community here. And what I will do, they do have a, um, let me, they do have a, um, a chat here, a new player help channel here where you can also request for help and I add a friend option. So, if you haven't already joined the Discord yet, I will put a link in the description of the video here and you can join this and um, request and some of these stronger players that have really good characters will add you. Okay, now that I use that and I've added people um, and just throwing from playing previously, I already had a lot of strong friends. So I use their characters and within... I'd say probably my first week I got up to Mythic 10.8 and completed it. Um, obviously when I started I was very lucky and we got an Ashlyn very early on and I do believe she's probably one of the strongest characters in my account just because she is booked so far ahead. Now what I've been doing too is when I'm farming my glyphs for my champions, when I'm doing these. I am farming them on the highest stage possible that I can farm stable. So by stable, I mean like let's say 
let's say we're doing Jacob right now so let's say on this it tells you the location so I know I cannot farm 10 5 by myself I use the support champion to do that so I'm going to attempt 6 5 here and I'm pretty sure I can kill these people um, on with my own team currently so because they're all water affinity champions and I'm my strong uh, leaf affinity so quite easily I'm running the firebomb and rage spell um, I'm just gonna run it real quick as I keep talking so that is what I've been doing um, I also run the XP booster um, potion thing that you have that you get from doing events and they give you quite a few of them early on unfortunately I have used all of mine and I do not have any to show you but I do believe you can purchase some in the in-game store now I would suggest probably not doing that because you will accumulate so many over time but early on they are kind of like a critical thing because you are burning quite a lot of energy to skill up your champions now you saw how that was quite quick um, right so we got like uh, 7k jelly if we had the double XP booster we would have got like uh, 14k roughly now if you accumulate that by 10 multi battles um, it does increase dramatically so I am talking about is there one here diamond shop these things the six hour XP boost so those are the things that I have been using on my account when I farm glyphs very very I do have some actually I lied so I've just accumulated these without me realizing I have them on now if you do use one Here's a sneaky thing that I didn't realize for the longest time. You can click on the bonuses here. The bonus icon here. You can find it. You can turn it on and off. So if you're not farming the glyphs, turn it off. If you're not farming jelly dungeon, turn it off. Um, it's up to you if you're going to turn it on and to do the dungeons. Honestly, the dungeon does not give you enough XP and I don't see it worth it. Um, being on but if you are farming glyphs I would definitely have the XP potion activated um, so if we go back to 6-5 where we were before if you're in the battle here and you totally forgot it will give you a notification like it will say 1, 2 or 3 depending if you have the silver or gold pass so if you remember it gave us like 6714 XP to do this now we're going to run with it on I'm going to show you the difference this has been making the huge amount of differences for my account just the pure amount of jelly right they give me so many resources and not just that it's giving me a lot of the blue shards the champ the the fodder that we need to upgrade my champions it's given me quite a lot of those blue shards so I've been able to summon um, quick promote a lot of my champions up to four star and then I just make them the five star so you might have seen that when we were looking through the um, the list there that I do have a bunch of four stars already leveled up just from farming the glyphs on my champions so here we go so it's now 12,292 so it didn't go to 14,000 but nonetheless it's a boost in XP it's what we needed anyway now that was massive progress for my account um, to be honest with you just knowing that when I'm glyph farming is massive so another thing is um, you see all this this is just from quick promoting you will see these foodies now I have never purchased one from the shop the diamond shop I believe there is better spent money so it's 80 diamonds on a foodie I would not buy them at all I would rather buy XP with it uh, not XP I mean um, energy sorry so if you were going to spend diamonds energy will be the way to go um, the only time I buy a foodie is when it appears into the gold shop now I was very lucky and I got a foodie almost every single day 
for the first couple of days when I started playing. Um, the one thing that I do buy is the meal coupon here for 30 diamonds. Every single day this resets, definitely worth buying for that 100 energy. And every week I do buy the three summons here. Another thing is eventually you'll get the endless trial poke, uh, tokens. Um, especially being a new account, I should be doing this, but I have been slacking a little bit. Um, just because I've been mainly focusing on gearing up my champions, the glyphs and skills, etc. But I will be doing the endless trials and I'll be trying to buy this potion here. Um, the next thing is any excess tokens that I don't use, I can use to buy mill tokens. Um, another thing is the hero essence. Unfortunately, if you are a free to play, this may be a bit difficult for you early on. Later on, I can see this being viable for you. But to get those hero essence is you banish green champions. So by banish, I mean you go to the altar here. Go into the banishment screen here. Now, I would recommend not banishing any blue champions. But banishing your one star green champions. I wouldn't do the two star ones because they're already two star and you don't need to waste XP on them. But any of the one star green champions would probably be your ideal banishment. They give you one essence per one star. Now, if you are glyph farming, you'll get plenty of those blue summons as I mentioned before. So you should get plenty and plenty of those fodder champions just naturally from farming, glyphing your champions and stuff. All right. Now, Basically, once you've done the adventure and you glyphed up a couple of champions, this is where we get to the stage where we need to push into the dungeons. Now, obviously, depending on how many champions you have and what champions you do have, Queen of Tides might be the ideal dungeon for you to start in. Ash of Magisteria may be a better option because you might have more Water Affinity champions. Or, worst case scenario, you got Ro Roaring Tulpa. Now, Roaring Tulpa is not the fan favorite of anyone here. Ideally, you want to try and get into Queens of Tides or Ash Magisteria. They are the main two dungeons you want to kind of get into straight away. Um, but ideally, you don't want to start farming until you can do stage 11 at least. Unless they changed it to do 6 star. So stage 10 does drop 6 star. So ideally, stage 10 is your first threshold point. You want to try and get into stage 10 to get the opportunity of getting 6 star gear. Ideally, the higher the better you can go. So at stage 12 you get 5 and 6 star gear only. Same with 11. So ideally, you want to try and get to 10. If you can't, then I would go back and try and rework my champions. Now the um, adventure mode do does sorry not do the adventure mode does drop certain gear equipment if I remember correctly now I don't remember exactly what sets drop so that will give you the gear that you need to start gearing up champions now if you are spending money, you should have some decent kind of gear already. So I've got a couple of five-star pieces here and some cursor on the Thalia. Currently, just from playing the game, Garrel was in some six-star warrior pieces and two off crappy pieces. Um, Opal's in rage gear, not the greatest gear. My best gear is on Ashlyn and Hitroshi. Um, she's on the magic pass set with uh, a random crit rate warrior set and then Hitoshi's on the Avery set that I got from the adventure mode with two raider sets. Now, you know, you get this just from playing the game. So, you'll eventually get there. Um, but I hope this has helped you guys spend a little bit more efficiently than just going in the dark there um, obviously you do want to work once you get into 10 8 mythic your main focus is to try and get a team going for the dungeons so there's a lot of information out there on the online 
on the YouTube. You can look at a team that you might have access to. Now, you may not have William, but there is a Ice Wolf that does counterattack. That can help you as well. Um, so even if you don't have the champions that I'm running, you may have something different or there might be a different variation of a team that you can already make or, you know, uh, it'll be a goal for you to work towards. So in the process of me, me gearing up my champions, I was working towards getting my Ash team going too. That is why Nathalia's there, Jacob's there, working on Opal and William. William I'm going to be using in two dungeons. Ash and um, Queen. So we should be fine. But yeah, you'll work it out. But it's very important because I see a lot of people struggle and they get they lose interest because they're stuck. So we're just going to sum it up real quick. Do the adventure complete Mythic 10.8. Do the challenge to get your legendary books, right? Then skill or glyph your champions if you're stuck. Um, if you are stuck, use friend supports to push you past your boundaries because one champion should be able to carry you a level 7, 70 character or, or even a max level character that's got a good gear should be able to carry you through the mythic stage or any stages you're currently stuck on so just remember that um, so farm glyphs on your characters that are going to carry you get their abilities up to very important and just look before you start spending books on people who you will use in the long term so for example i have booked nathalia here anyway that's probably going to be the end of the video guys thank you for watching take care and i'll see you in the next video bye